AI image generation is now cheaper than ever. Some of the latest state-of-the-art models can produce images for a fraction of a penny. Yet AI image generator websites are making a killing by charging steep prices to people who don't know any better. These websites don't actually do any of the AI computation themselves, but instead send your image generation prompts to third-party API services such as Replicate and Fall.ai. This video will show you how to create your own generative AI image generator with Python using less than 100 lines of code. I'll be using the hyper-realistic Flux Schnell model created by Black Forest Labs, and we'll be using Streamlit to rapidly create an interactive web app. To start, you need to create an account using a generative AI API service such as Replicate or Fall.ai. I'll be using Replicate for this video since it's the cheapest at the moment for Flux Schnell. It can generate about 330 AI images per one US dollar. After creating an account, go to replicate.com slash account slash API dash tokens. Create an API token and then paste it after the equal sign of the code on the screen. You should then paste this full line of code with your token into your terminal or command prompt. Now your token will be a variable within your Python environment. Next, go to your code editor and start by importing the following libraries, Streamlit, Replicate, OS, Requests, Pill, and IO. We start by using the OS get end function to call our replicate API token that we previously placed into our Python environment as a variable. The next few lines here will produce a conditional error message in our Streamlit app if the API token has not been added to the environment. We can now use the client function of the replicate Python package for authenticating our token. The next chunk of code is vital for the full functionality of our image generator. The session state function allows us to call variables that will persist across reruns of the app. Image URL, which will eventually store our final AI image, is set to having no value for the first run. With that out of the way, we can now create the sidebar of the app, which will display the prompt input box as well as sliders for choosing parameter values for several inputs. Here a random seed and the output quality of the image. Below is a generate image button that is placed on the left of two columns that I create with the st columns function. We will now shift to the main content area of the Streamlit web app. A conditional if statement checks whether the generate image button has been pressed and the prompt input box has been filled in. If both conditions are true, a loading spinner is displayed with the message generating image. This visual feedback lets the user know that the image is being generated. Inside the try block, the necessary input data is prepared for the AI model. It includes the prompt provided by the user, the random seed for controlling randomness, a fixed aspect ratio, and the output quality to control the quality of the generated image. The replicate run function is called to invoke the Flux Schnell model on Replicate's platform. The input data variable is passed to the model to generate the image based on the user's prompt and the other parameters. Once the model has generated the image, the URL of the image is now available from the Replicate website and is stored in Streamlit session state under the key image URL. This ensures the link to the image remains available even if the app is rerun or refreshed. If an exception occurs during the image generation process, for example, if the model fails or the input data is invalid, the code catches the error and displays an error message using strr to inform the user that something went wrong. OK, now we can finally display the generated image. If an image URL exists in the session state, meaning an image has been generated, the following actions are taken. The image is displayed on the screen using the URL stored in ST session state image URL through the ST image function. The image is shown with the caption generated image. The code then sends a request to the image URL to retrieve the actual image file. The response is opened as an image using pill image open. The next several lines of code convert the image into a JPEG format, so it is ready to be downloaded at the user's request. Finally, we place the download image button into the second column of the sidebar immediately to the right of the generate image button. The app is now complete and we can start prompting the AI model our requests and downloading the images. Go back to your terminal or command prompt and write streamlet run, followed by the path to your streamlet pi file. This will launch the streamlet web app. If you found this video useful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the Deep Charts channel for more AI and machine learning videos.